In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. Now the big question, oh, Lucas here. Hi. The big question I have to ask you is, are you a Lowe's person or are you a Home Depot person? Who are you? I mean, we go to Lowe's. No, you tell me. Like... You tell me who you are. Lowe's or Home Depot? Lowe's. I'm a Lowe's. Lowe's because they actually put their plants on clearance and let you buy them. Home Depot, they just throw them out the back. I'm a Lowe's guy <laughs> because Lowe's has always been closer. It is. It's right. Literally, like two so, minutes down the road, it was awesome. So I know some Home Depot people. Maybe you're a Home Depot person. That's a really important question. It's kind of like, are you a glass half full, half empty person? I'm not saying that Home Depot is half empty. I'm just saying... You know, you're one of two people when it comes to building stuff and buying home improvement. So we're going to go to both today. Yeah, well, Home Depot has the countertop we want in stock. So that's why we're going to go there for a kitchen. For a kitchen. It's a big honking yeah. 39 big inch island. by 74 inch long, big honking piece of wood yeah. that won't even fit in our CRV. We've got to make it fit we're somehow. Gonna, well, we'll make it fit. We make everything fit. We lived in a truck camper for three years. Yeah. And then we're going to drop that off and we're going to go to Lowe's and get the lumber and some plumbing, some shark bite plumbing materials for the bathroom. And uh, I'm excited. It is late already. What time is it? I don't know. It's you late. never know. It's 1118. It's 1118. So my goal is I'm going to wear myself out today putting my, my heart into this. This is going to be like, you know, um, what, what's the, the players now? I don't want to say... Tom Brady, he looks effortless, but like, you know, the players are out there, they're just sweating and grinding it out, trying to win the championship. Mm. Like, that's me today. I'm going to try Let's to win. Get it done. I'm going to try to win this championship. Chances are I'm going to be frustrated. I'm probably going to drop the F bomb a couple times off camera, and I'm just going to, like, I'm going to be punching things because that's who I am. I'm a puncher. I, no, you're not. I'm not a He's puncher. He's a big teddy bear. I'm a big, I'm a big teddy bear. I'm a big teddy bear. So I'm going to be uh, teddy bear hugging some things in my frustration because it's not going to go the way I think it's going to go. Starting with that doggone carpet we got to rip up underneath the shower. Oh, you'll see. We'll show you. Yep. That's huge. Yep. And then they have the 74 by 25, but that's not wide enough, right? No. Um, this is it. Same one, nobody's bothering. The same one I looked at the other 102 pounds. Yeah. It's not. It's heavy, that's for sure. That is the question. We will have to find out. Will it fit? Chris is gonna fit in here. I'm gonna have to leave him at Home Depot. <laughs> you think his feet, his legs will fit there? <laughs> Look at my, <laughs> I'm like right up against the dash. 
but it's in. Wow. <laughs> so this See, is it, huh? to Yep. Oh, you get a little bit more room. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't get in an accident. I'll drive very, very careful. I might have to <laughs> if there wasn't all this trash in here. <laughs> I got a cramp in my head. <laughs> Oh. oh, baby, I'm sorry. You're laughing at me. You're not sorry. Yes, I am. Oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> oh, you poor thing. <laughs> now I know how the astronauts feel. Oh, my gosh. Oh, crap in here. It's a clown car. <laughs> All right, we gotta go. All right. <laughs> Yay, you did it. Barely. How's your back? <laughs> it's alright, it's alright. Well, Evie's barking. Get that bad boy out. I'm excited. When we get the kitchen done. You want me to grab one in? Nope. I'm just going to tilt it. So as you know, we have that big honking piece of wood for the counter. And as you know, we don't do anything in a straight line. So instead of doing all the bathroom stuff, I want to go ahead and get, get the oven out look at this how I can get this out how these pieces are cut and attached and then I'm gonna cut that board that we have so it'll come in here and we will miss um, this hole it'll be gone we'll have to kind of figure out positioning for the plumbing however I want to do that because Lindsay can work on staining so I figured out there was two screws or there were two screws underneath that I was able to take out and now comes right out it jiggles. Now the thing is, I don't really want to disconnect the propane. Yeah. Because then I have to reconnect it. I just need to get it out a little bit because what I needed to know was the measurements. Mm. And the tape measure is in the car. But now I've got this edge right here that I can measure to the wall. And I can know the exact width that I need this thing to be. And then the length, we can obviously we can measure that. It is 34 and 5 eighths. 34 and 5 eighths. You can write on this one because it's going to go yep. in the trash. And then we're going to bring it out 44 and a half. It's less than that, but I'm just going to round it off, they say. Mm -hmm. So the first cut I'll make will be 44 and a half inches. And that thing was 79 inches, so that's going to leave us 34 and a half inches. Wow. A premium European. Northern European birch.
$240 on this beautiful, beautiful butcher block countertop. And now come to find out, I think we bought too much. How much too much? <laughs> this much too much. <laughs> it's a big, a, a big, that's a lot. That's a lot. It's about 40 so, pounds we could save. Yeah, definitely. I mean, well, that's good. But we're now thinking of ideas of where else can we put it in the camper so we're not technically saving weight. So we could have had this for the bathroom, but we went and bought another piece of wood that was almost the exact dimensions thinking that that would save us money because we weren't going to have enough for the kitchen and the bathroom, which we probably shouldn't have even needed to buy that piece that we bought, but it's too late because I've already stained it and it's all that It's too jazz, so. late to turn back now. Um, so yeah, we got to figure out what we're going to do with this. <laughs> so we've spent... We could donate it. We could give it to the homeless guy. Wait, what is he going to do with it? I don't know. They're always How asking for stuff. How are they going to carry it around? This is... This is about one third of two hundred and forty dollars. That's like eighty dollars right there. It's an eighty dollar piece of wood. I mean, yeah, we could. I could try to sell it, but I don't know who is gonna want to go on Facebook Marketplace and look for a little piece of a butcher block countertop. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. It's in. Uh, yeah. For now. So. What's this over here? That's for our kitchen. It cut beautifully. We just got to, yeah, cut really nice, really easy, and we just got to shape it because our kitchen is such a weird shape. It's like all angled and so we got to figure that out. But so far, we've cut it really good, really well. When working with propane, obviously make sure that it's off. So this is what's coming out of the pipes, what we can smell. You can't smell it, of course, if you can smell it. Uh, you've got some really cool six senses. Um, what I'm doing is I'm disconnecting these and we're going to pull the stove out. When we reconnect it, and we'll show you, you're going to want to use the yellow tape to tape the seams. Not the white that you'd use for water, um, for any, any kind of water pipe, but you want to use the yellow tape and we always have that on hand. So this should just kind of jiggle. First time I did this in our truck camper, I just kind of pulled, 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 and forgot that I had to disconnect the propane. <laughs> so I was dragging the copper propane pipe. Nice. Voila. Really? They did not use pieces of wood. They used pieces of wood. Oh my gosh. Here you go. Here's the genius uh, RV builders. How they connect a countertop. Why didn't we think of that? I don't know. Oh my gosh. No thanks. We're going to do it better than that. So it's cool to see the inside of your RV. We're going to see even more in just a minute when I take this out. Yeah. And then we'll have the whole countertop exposed. There's some screws that are holding. I got some of them loose the other day. You can see it's starting to come up. There's more screws I need to get off underneath it here and all the way around there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna pull this countertop off and then we'll bring the new one in and we'll kind of measure where we wanna yeah, make we this to cut. Make these cuts. We could actually set this on top of the new one. We could. And we could just kind of trace. We definitely and could that do would that. give us the idea. It doesn't have to be perfect. It can't hang out any more than this because of the stove. Mm -hmm. But you know, like you see they even notched that there so we may have to do some notching. But I but have, the stove covers that. I have the perfect tool for the notches. Just Yeah, pretty awesome. Done. We'll have this thing. How strong are you? Lindsay wants me to go. And then rip out the countertops. And then rip out the countertops. <laughs> Nice Rip and, it out. Nice and gently. Because <laughs> if you break it, you buy it. Ooh. Here it oh, is. We need that piece of wood that's under there. Yeah, so there's some screws here. This is how brilliant these guys are. 
most of these they've got staples you can see mm -hmm. maybe you can see but then they got screws going in as well into the wall and like here's screws actually going up into the board you can see the staples there so i'm going to pull this board off because we're going to put it back on the wall you can see our paint job yeah you can see the line of where <laughs> the wood was and where yeah. the counter was so i'm going to put the wood back on there so it's level with this and we can put a level on there but it, as long as i put it back in place yeah. it will be good be and then when we set our countertop down it just <laughs> sets right on top of there Yep. They used staples to hold the countertop on the wood. They did not trust gravity. We can trust gravity or we could do like this. We could put a screw every so often. Yeah. And that might be easier and better. One, yeah. It's probably better to do that. I think the staples are overkill. Not scared at this moment. You can see stuff. I'm not afraid about putting it back. <laughs> Yeah, so it was, that's really sturdy. <laughs> so they could have this, but yeah, look at that. It just went up and over on yeah. the water heater. So they could put these drawers wow. in there. Wow. Wow. Yeah. It's definitely an interesting job, for sure. How heavy is that piece? It's heavy. <laughs> it's two thirds of 108 pounds. Does it look like it's even? <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, it's this piece in the corner. Yeah. Because it's this is heavier and taller. Yeah. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta cut that part down, and then it'll fit in the corner better. screw out but yep. yeah it's only got that one little seam there that's awesome and I think by the time you stain it and all mm -hmm. good. that looks really good yeah. I love it 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 do you like that I love it 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 so it comes out and meets the oven yeah it doesn't go in it comes out yeah it comes over and like it just that. straight so like this and then like that. A straight line, yeah. Drama, 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 drama. Mm -hmm. Lindsay, there's drama, drama, drama. But no. we've done really well we have. cutting this out. The only thing we still have to do is cut the sinkhole, which the is going to be nerve wracking. The sinkhole? The sinkhole. Is that where they do that kind <laughs> yes. of sinkhole? The sinkhole. It's a hole that sinks, or it's a hole for a sink? It's a hole for a sink. A sinkhole. A sinkhole. <laughs> You're from Florida, you know about sinkholes. <laughs> if you've ever worked on your own RV and put your own countertop in, you know about sinkholes. They're not the same. So our problem here, right? Yeah, the stove fits beautifully for the size, the thickness that we cut it. Yeah. We made this beautiful little L right here. 
we're going to join it in this one spot there. Yep. Um, the only problem is that there needs to be a notch right here. Yeah. And this sits, this this countertop is one and a half inches, where the old one was like only a little over an inch. Oh, no, yeah, it's... Yeah. This, this may be a half inch. Yeah, so it's, so a, it's a lot a thicker. Inch. So the oven's sitting up a lot higher, which isn't a huge issue. You can't, I mean, there's definitely a gap there, but I'm not complaining. It's okay. Look at how pretty she is. And then, yeah, this oh, countertop is beautiful. And it sits pretty good. I can put, so squeeze the... Yep. And then, so we just need to notch this out for the stove. Otherwise, it's got a big gap here. And I gotta lift that board so. up in the back a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna do that next. I'm gonna take this back out, prop that board up, notch these out, and then hand it over to you to be able to stain. stain. Yay! Because that's gonna take you a little while to stain. Sand and stain, sand, because I gotta put a few coats on it. So. Meanwhile, I got all the wood for the bathroom. And I just haven't touched it yet, so... We ended up doing this. This, this took a lot more than I thought it was going to, but... But it looks amazing. It's getting there. So that means we're going to call it a night. All we're doing left here is cutting these notches and... Uh, Making our stove fit better. Yeah, fitting the stove. We'll throw the stove back in there tomorrow. Or the next time we're working. Maybe tomorrow, maybe not tomorrow. But we'll uh, we'll throw the stove back in there for you. So you can see it slide in perfectly, and then we'll uh, we'll be ready to start cutting sinkholes. A sinkhole. A sinkhole. Hang on a second. Okay. Yay! Look at my pretty sink. Here's the sink. So I think what we'll have to do is I don't even know how to do that. Yeah. Cut out. And we don't have a jigsaw. <laughs> well, we may have to go buy a jigsaw. Trace this mm -hmm. and then cut obviously inside of it because yep. you don't want it to cut as deep or you don't want to cut out the outside. Which is why we got a sink with a lip because we know we can't make perfect cuts. Though we did mighty fine job mighty fine. on this. Mighty fine. Oh, mighty fine. There's some hardware down there. Good. <laughs> but there is not a uh, there could be a guide in there. These are just, no, this is just how it... Insulation, maybe? No, this is how it latches to the bottom okay. so it stays in place. And this is their Ikea's cheap version of uh, um, the tape that we got for the putty. Oh, okay. You put this on the outside mm -hmm. and then press it down into it. Sounds good. So. Yep, yep. All right, let's call it a night. Call it a night. I called it a night. 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 Good night. <laughs>